What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again, and I do apologize. I am sick, so if my voice sounds off or I accidentally cough, um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I'll try to edit it out or mute my mic if I can, but uh, just so you guys know what's going on. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about some Operation Trebuchet this week, guys. So, I uh, don't have a lot of official news to talk to you guys about, but let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so, we've got two new things. Uh, one that, if you guys are in the Discord, you all have already seen. The uh, Stanchion Rifle is being worked on by Jedi Nick. Uh, for those unfamiliar with this weapon from the Halo lore, it is the uh, sniper rifle that the snipers in Halo Wars 2 use. Um, but this is also basically, it's supposed to be like a super heavy-duty sniper rifle that just like destroys everything. Um, the Halo Wars 2 variant is a much lighter variant of this than the one initially seen in a uh, comic book, but um, or I think, was it a comic book? It was, it was basically like an animated book or whatever, like animations or cartoons or whatever you want to call it, but uh, it's really awesome. So we've got the, the various rounds and stuff that are going to be used in this thing, and uh, I just can't wait to see this thing in action. It's definitely going to pack a punch. Um, Jedi Nick, I believe, wants this to be more powerful than the um, standard sniper rifle that we have in game now, but it's going to be kind of countered by that with having a higher magnification scope, so this is going to be an uh, even longer range weapon than the standard sniper rifle in a lot of ways. <coughs> um, mobility will probably also be an issue with this even being the more mobile variant of this rifle. Uh, it's still a very heavy weapon system, so I'm not sure exactly how we'll see this in the final form or what that's going to look like in both uh, standard gameplay and ace gameplay, but it will be interesting to see nonetheless. Um, the last post was just a, a couple days ago where he uh, showed the weapon in a near finalized state, uh, at least as far as the model's concerned. We have um, basically now uh, the... You know, scopes completed, you know, all the finer details are on there. It still needs to, of course, be textured and configured into the game and all this other stuff yet. Um, nonetheless, I look forward to seeing that. Beyond that, we have some exclusive content, uh, thanks to Indoor Bradster. I hit him up just to make sure he's doing okay. I hadn't seen him post anything for a little while, and uh, just wanted to check make sure he's going good. Uh, right now he's pretty busy with school, but he did show me a little something he's been working on for the uh, development team. This is all very work in progress. Uh, none of this will probably actually make it into uh, the game, but this is all basically templated for stuff that will start seeing to replace current buildings or add on to that stuff. Um, so there's two things he's working on right now. One of those uh, things is updating all the, uh, the building textures to match the new standards of... Uh, like the weapons and the vehicles and stuff we saw in the last update to update all those things with their textures and make them all uniform uh, using new methods that the development team started a game with Substance Painter. He started leading that uh, development. Uh, so we see that one of these images here of like a top down of a building with uh, <clears throat> some like white and like these uh, doors or something on the top here. Uh, and that's just basically him taking a crack at the uh, the new texture. We also see this down from the side with some of these new buildings as well. Uh, with some of these new textures and stuff in place. Which um, kind of leads us to our second thing here as you look at this building. Just kind of keep these designs in mind as you look at the next couple images. So the, uh, the other thing that they're working on is they want something that they can use to create maps much more quickly. And allow creators such as myself, um, mission makers like Jedi Nick or Nido Vizard to take buildings and make them much more quickly to make cityscapes. Um, so they've started designing modular buildings. Uh, so you can see these buildings are kind of cut into various pieces that can be slotted with other buildings for quick placement and stuff like that. Um, this will allow people like myself, like I said, to basically place down buildings and keep a much more varied look with our cityscapes while not necessarily having to have, you know, all these buildings, you know, just kind of plug in holes and stuff, but look generic or boring. We can vary it up a lot more while still, you know, making use of that space. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I very much appreciate uh, Bradster sharing these images with me. Like I said, these are exclusive content. Uh, this has not been shared on the Discord, uh, Facebook, or the Reddit, or outside the dev team that I'm aware of, at least. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I want to cut the video short because I'm uh, really trying to stifle a cough. So you guys take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.